What's going on, guys? You already know my name is Donnell Miles, and today I'm going to talk about wall locker display. For those of you that do not know, I drop one video a day on military-related content, whether you're going to basic training or you're in the military in general. I try to give you guys the best content, the latest content, and also just give you some advice so that you can be successful no matter what you're doing in the military, okay? Now, let's get right into it. I don't like my videos to be too long, as you all already know. But do me a favor and like that. Do me a favor and hit the like button. And also, if you are not already, subscribe to the channel to help us out, guys. Understand that the like button gets the videos out there. A lot of you have been following me for the past two weeks, and you've seen me drop one video a day, and you've written comments in the comment sections stating that you like the videos and you're glad that I'm doing this. So if you could please just hit the like button and leave a comment, let me know um, what topics you want me to discuss. That can help get the algorithm going so that more people can see my channel. And again, I want to thank you guys in advance for tuning in. So before me, I have a wall locker display diagram for Fort Seal. I do not have one for Fort Benning, Fort Lindenwood, Fort Jackson, and so on, but this is for Fort Sill. Now understand that when you come to Fort Sill, you may be at one of the six battalions, okay? Um, I.e. I, you may be at 179 Battalion or one, you know, 131 or 1st and 40th. You may be at a different battalion and each battery within that battalion will have a different wall locker display. But primarily this wall locker display came from a Charlie battery 179 wall locker display. So I just wanted to give you all an overview of what you can expect with the wall locker displays in basic training, okay? So the top shelf, as you can see, you got your larger detergent and it's, it's pre pretty self-explanatory, guys. I'm not going to insult your intelligence. I'm not going to talk and, you know, go over everything. But I just need you to understand that the importance of the wall locker display. Pay attention to everything on the wall locker display, no matter what installation you go to. And I'm going to give you some tips. Let's get into it. First things first, your wall locker is to be inspection ready at all times period. I don't care if you are going to an appointment. I don't care if you, you know, went to sick call and you're at quarters and you come back and it's your first day back, back in the swing of things because you're, you know, you're healthy or whatever, and you're back training and it's toes online and you're getting expected. And during tolls online, your drill sergeant will tell you exactly what he or she wants you to do. But more than likely, your wall lockers will be open so that the drill sergeants can come through and inspect. But understand that a random inspection can happen at any point in time. So the key thing is for your wall lockers to remain inspection ready at all times. A lot of things can go wrong with a wall locker display. For example, you may say, for example, you may say, Look at item number six, or let's just make it easy. Look at item number eight, right? Number eight, as you can see right here, it says patrol cap as worn. So when a drill sergeant come and look at your wall locker display, your PC, your patrol cap shouldn't be with the bill towards the back of the locker, okay? When they say as worn, that's what they mean. Another common mistake with the wall locker that I've seen when I was a drill sergeant was the flashlight. Now you're looking at this flashlight, right? Item number seven, it said red lens flashlight. The first mistake is you don't have the red lens on your flashlight. And this will come to uh, realization once you leave for basic training. You, you, I go to inspect the wall lockers, I look at the flashlight and the red lens is not showing or the, res, the red lens is not present. It don't have to be on, but the red lens isn't present. Furthermore, the flashlight is L-shaped. So as you can see, this portion right here is facing towards the left. A lot of trainees will put the flashlight in the wall locker and it'll be facing whatever the hell way they want it to face. No, understand that if I got the flashlight facing to the left 
and the L shape is towards the back end of the wall locker, exactly how you see it on the display is exactly how the drill sergeants are coming to expect it. Why? Because attention to detail. You know, when it comes time for uh, training events like hand grenades, all right, and, and the drill sergeant are telling you, you know, to hold the hand grenade with your thumb over the spoon or the safety lever, because that's the correct terminology, right? Over the safety lever. And you go to hold the grenade, the hand grenade, improperly. And now the hand grenade goes off in your hand. Understand that everything that you're doing based on training has its purpose, has its purpose, okay? From when you go to the defect and you're, and you're in the defect with your, with your cups to your chest, you know, having your cups in your hand with thumbs to your chest and both the cups together, that's for hand grenades because that's exactly how you're going to hold your hand grenades. So they're prepping you all throughout the nine weeks on everything that you're going to go through throughout basic training. Another thing that I see that's always messed up as far as wall locker displays is the canteen, the canteens, okay, and the flick, item number 19. Your flick must be zipped and buckled as worn. Understand that everything you're going to see on here is as worn. So what does that mean? Again, I'm giving you tips. And if you like what I'm telling you, then click that like button if you haven't already. When, when, whenever the the paper or the wall lock, wall lock display says as worn, that means if you were to put your flick on right now, as worn, it would be zipped up. If you were to put on your OCP top, item number 13, four sets of ACUs, if you were to put on your ACU top, do you wear your ACU top open? No. So when it says as worn, that means as you're going to wear it on your body, it's, that's how it should be in the wall locker display. So when you have your PT jacket hanging up, I should see the Velcro portion of that. I should see the hook, the, uh, the, 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 hook the hook tape or the pow tape on a hook tab, okay? I should see it zipped up. Same thing for the, the item number 13, all right? Now, understand that this is an inspection four wall locker display. And inspection four just means that, you know, that you have your beret, you have your, your, your gloves, you have your item number 15, which is the complete ASUs. But obviously that is changing now to the newer uniform, depending on where you're at in basic training. But um, when you first come to basic training, everything in this wall locker display will be there, except for your period for inspection items, which are items number six, nine, I believe, no, uh, yeah, 6, 9, 15, okay? Those won't be there because you'll get those later on in the cycle, probably week five or, or, or week four. Those are just your graduation items. Period four items are your graduation items, okay? The items that you get um, uh, in, in preparation for graduating. Now, let's talk about the hygiene drawer, all right? Now, one thing I want to point out before I go to the hygiene drawer and the clothing in the clothing drawer, and I'm gonna close this video out. Note, let's go to the note area right here where it says note one. You can have three personal photos and they may be displayed to the right of the mirror. Now, I do not have a, a picture of the, the, the wall locker door to show you the mirror, but understand that if it says to the right of the mirror, Listen, don't put the pictures on the left side of the mirror, put it on the right side of the mirror because that's what the wall locker display is telling you. Now understand that you can't have no type of crazy type of pictures and you know, you already know what that is, you know, no naked pictures of whatever, that stuff is not allowed. It, you won't even be allowed to even get it. You know, uh, if you were to get uh, something like that, we would tell you to put it in your, your, your personal, um, your personal uh, belongings, but you know, each individual drill sergeant will handle that accordingly. Okay, note number two, wall lockers will be completely free of trash at all times. That personal drawer, understand that your personal drawer is your personal drawer. That's where you store items like your letters. You know, drill sergeants will never go through your personal drawer. I wouldn't never go to you. I never went through personal drawers. I just looked, I just opened it and just told them to tidy it up, but then I closed it. I'm not finna read no letters. When I went to basic training, my drill sergeant read my whole letter like in front of me, like just read the whole thing. And I'm just like, wow, like. I mean, it was crazy because she, I guess she thought I was going to write something crazy about a drill or something like that, but 
you know, um, yeah, no, nah, I didn't, I was, no, I didn't write nothing like that. And uh, yeah, but that's your personal drawer. That's where you keep your, you know, your hygiene for the females. Um, as you can see, this is a male wall locker display, but understand that we, the, the hygiene items will go in your personal drawer. Again, try to keep it as neat as possible. Although there is no display for it, like I said, you don't want, it's free of trash, okay? Note number three, all additional clothing items will be displayed in the same manner, i.e. shirts, shorts, socks, uniforms. Look at the socks. Now let's go to the, the, the hygiene drawer. We'll come back to the clothing drawer. Everything that you see here, the most common mistake that I see is these items in this hygiene drawer placed however the hell they want to place it. If, I, if we say, you know, the toothpaste needs to be next to the, the shaver and the, the toothbrush, that's how it needs to be. You know, if the, if the wording is facing upright, don't have the wording facing towards the bottom of the drawer. If we have the U.S. Army above your name tape, don't have your name tape above the U.S. Army. That, just look at the picture. It, it blows my mind. <laughs> look at the picture. Put your item just like the picture and then boom, you, you graduated pretty much. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but um, again, you know, any excess items, like let's just say you get a box of, of, of personal hygiene items from your mom or you ordered it from Amazon when you had time to get your phone or whatever the case may be. Those extra items will be placed in your personal drawer. I mean, excuse me, in your personal uh, bags that are stored away. This is just how I did it. It will be stored away in your personal bag that you came to basic training with, with that is locked away. And then when you say, hey, drill sign, I'm running out of you know, detergent or deodorant or whatever, can I get it out of my you know, uh, personal bag because I put my excess stuff in there and I'll you know, go allow you to do that. But you know, again, I'm just saying what I've seen and how, you know, what, how I did it when I was a drill. And this was... Uh, you know, I got off the trail in January. So this is fairly, fairly recent stuff here. Okay. Again, every, as you see, as you see it on here, that's exactly what we need. Okay. Most of the time you have 10 hangers and, you know, pay attention. And the last thing that I'm going to say before I get into the clothing drawer, this, this section right here, one more thing that I commonly see mistakes is item number 11. So simple, right? Excess hangers. Understand that it says excess hangers pushed to the left of the locker. But notice how the hangers are, okay? Every little detail matters. I developed OCD being a drill sign. It, it blows my mind how messed up people can mess up a picture and pretty much copying a picture and making it like so. But, you know, with understanding, with time, um, you will understand attention to detail. So let's move on to clothing drawer. Not, uh, item number A, items must uh, will be placed neatly in the drawer as, sh as shown. Now, item number B is your shirts, okay? And again, this is a male wall locker display. So this right here is their underclothes, I believe. Um, and this right here is the t-shirt. Now I have a video on how to ranger roll your t-shirts, ranger roll your socks, okay? So go back, if you don't know how to ranger roll, you need to learn how to ranger roll and you need to practice making it within six inches. Now understand uh, another tip to give you guys, look at the hygiene drawer and the clothing drawer, okay? which is drawer number two and drawer number three. Underneath all of this, this brown thing that you see, that is a towel. That is a towel. Again, pay attention to detail. This, your drawers are not gonna be brown like that. That is a towel. So you have to place a towel down and then you place all the items on top of it. Again, according to whatever, wherever you go, it is going to change. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, you can screenshot this just to kind of get an overview of what you're going to expect when you go to uh, BCT. Again, it will change according to what installation you are at. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
please comment below. Let me know what videos you would like to see. And I will catch you guys on the next one.